in uh, this tutorial we will discuss with you guys about the gaze chromatography the different name given to the gaze chromatography the gaze liquid chromatography gaze chromatography mass spectrometry which is shortly known as gcms and gaze liquid partition chromatography uh, well uh, we will discuss with you guys our this lecture uh, in seven portions in the very first portion i will tell you people again about this in the second portion I will tell you people about the chromatography that what is chromatography and uh, in the third portion we will be talking about the main components of uh, the chromatography and in the fourth portion we will be talking about the main components of our this chromatography and uh, in the fifth portion uh, I will tell you people about the logic behind these names and uh, in the sixth portion we will discuss with you guys the instrumentation working principle and here in the seventh portion, we will be discussing with you guys the result of our uh, this chromatography, the graphical representation in short. So let's start with the very first point. Gaze chromatography is actually studied uh, by other titles like Gaze liquid chromatography. It is also studied by this name. And we have a next name for the same Gaze chromatography that is Gaze chromatography mass spectrometry, which is shortly known as GCMS. And the, the fourth name uh, that is used to study this chromatography is gaze liquid partition chromatography and i told you guys that we will uh, know the reason or the logic behind these names in our this fifth portion so let's come towards the second portion in the second portion i will tell you people about the chromatography now let's come towards the chromatography what is chromatography chromatography is actually a technique which is used to separate the components of a mixture if we have a mixture and we want to separate its components so the technique that we use to separate these components that technique is actually known as chromatography in one line what is chromatography a separation technique a separation technique now in third point the main components of any type of chromatography uh, whenever you study about the chromatography you will see these two components the most important components which are responsible to do the separation of your mixture the very first component is the mobile phase and the second one is the stationary phase mobile the name is telling you the name is suggesting you guys the idea mobile that moves stationary phase the stagnant standing or fixed phase we have one phase which is fixed another phase which is moving these two phases are responsible actually to separate our mixture into different components the fourth point is the main components of uh, our this chromatography i have written here one two three four so you can use these components for any of these okay because this is actually one type of chromatography uh, studied with different names now again i'm telling you people that uh, why do we study these with different names you will get the logic here in the fifth portion first let's clear the fourth portion mobile phase and stationary phase so the mobile phase that we use in our uh, this chromatography is the carrier gaze which is actually inert case non-reactive example hydrogen helium nitrogen or argon you can use any but more often used are the uh, hydrogen or helium these two are more often used and uh, stationary phase the standing phase in this chromatography we will be studying about the stationary phase and this stationary phase will be the liquid one and the example of this liquid one is liquid hydrogen or silica grease uh, which is actually a non-polar stationary phase so this is actually the liquid stationary phase and the gaseous mobile phase gas mobile phase and liquid stationary phase now let's come towards the next point that is the fifth point in the fifth portion i am just right now going to tell you people about the logic behind these names the very first name gas chromatography this name is given due to the mobile phase now in our this chromatography the mobile phase is actually a gaseous now due to this gaseous nature this chromatography is studied under the title known as gaze chromatography you can say we study this chromatography under the heading that is the gaze chromatography this is name is given because of the mobile phase our mobile phase is gaseous and our second name gaze liquid chromatography this name is uh, given to this chromatography for the reason that is mobile phase plus stationary phase and uh, we discussed a moment earlier with you guys that uh, the mobile phase that we are using is the gaseous and the stationary phase is actually liquid now the second name is given just because of these two phases 
that we are using the gaseous mobile phase and the liquid stationary phase due to which this chromatography is also known as gaze liquid chromatography now let's come towards third name what is the logic behind third name gaze chromatography mass spectrometry gcms this name is given uh, for the reason that uh, our technical procedure is actually enhanced due to enhanced technical procedure we are just giving it third name that is the gaze chromatographer and mass spectrometry now what is the enhancement here the enhancement is very simple in this chromatography first all general in general chromatography a uh, general gaze chromatography we are using our mobile phase and our this uh, uh, stationary phase in these ovens etc after that we are having uh, a simple collector and video device over there uh, so we don't use the mass spectrometry so sometimes we want to separate a very uh, complex type of mixture so for that sake we are supposed to use uh, a little bit an enhanced uh, technique which is uh, known as spectrometry so we are placing here a spectrometer here as a detector due to which uh, our enhancement is actually observed in separation and that's why due to this usage due to the usage of this detector uh, mass spectrometer or you can say the application of mass spectrometry we are actually giving it another name that is the gaze chromatography mass spectrometry which is also known as gcms shortly and uh, now you guys got the concept that this is due to the enhanced technical procedure we just enhanced our chromatography due to the this detector and uh, further if you want to know about this uh, spectrometry mass spectrometry we are having a, a separate video for that and uh, here in this video i'm just giving you guys a short concept regarding the mass spectrometer as a detector so you can if you want to learn further about this technique mass spectrometry we do have a separate video for that you can search it out so these were the three names now let's come towards the fourth name the fourth name is gaze liquid partition chromatography now this name is given just because of the principle and uh, this principle i will tell you people about here in the principal section now let's come towards the sixth step sixth step is including all these our instrumentation working in principle so after the instrumentation working we will talk about the principle instrumentation is very easy and simple just concentrate we have our uh, uh, carrier gaze jar hereby in which uh, our gaze the carrier gaze the mobile phase will be enclosed and uh, here is the controller uh, next is our uh, sample oven in which we have an inlet for the sample injector through which we will inject our sample and here we have a next uh, oven known as gaze chromatography oven in which uh, uh, we are actually having our stationary phase which is packed within a column and this is also known as temperature regulated oven because we can regulate the temperature of this oven and next to this in normal chromatography uh, we have just uh, a collector and a readout device but uh, in our this uh, complex and enhanced, uh, you can say technical, according to third name, we are actually using another uh, detector, special type of detector, that is the mass spectrometer. This is mass spectrometry, which is telling you about the mechanism, but this detector is known as mass spectrometer. So the next we have is the readout device. And uh, after that, we will get the results. So let's come towards the working now, how this instrument works, very simple. Uh, from here from the carrier gaze jar the gaze will be supplied towards the sample oven uh, and, and this supply is actually controlled in a controlled fashion this will be applied supplied towards the sample oven and in the sample oven here we have an inlet for the sample through which we will inject our sample and our sample must be in gaseous phase if it is not so it will be converted automatically uh, in this sample oven because the temperature is enough high to convert our liquid phase into gaseous so now our sample and carrier gaze now these both are supposed to travel or get entry into the this uh, gaze chromatography oven and remember our gaze is actually an inert gaze okay inert one non-reactive and uh, the examples are the helium nitrogen uh, hydrogen or argon so now our sample and our mobile phase they both are supposed to enter into this uh, gaze chromatography oven and uh, here we have our stationary phase packed in this column which is waiting for this uh, sample and carrier gaze now this mobile phase or the carrier gaze is given the name carrier for the reason because it is actually carrying our sample and the stationary phase here is going to interact with our sample like this our sample will be separated then how like very simple suppose we have one two three four five components in our mixture which is our sample when we inject it through the sample injector, here the carrier gaze is carrying it. As they enter into the gaze chromatography oven, here the stationary phase is waiting for 
our sample so now here we have five components suppose now these five components have got different different type of interaction so it is a mixture now you know in the mixture we have different components and these components have different properties so some of the components they will be they will be showing uh, enough high interaction with our stationary phase due to what will happen sample logic is there suppose our uh, component number one will uh, have a kind of very slow motion reason behind is this will be having interaction uh, with our stationary phase our stationary phase is actually uh, interacting with this one sa first sample uh, in a phi as compared to other samples and uh, our second sample like this it will be having a little bit uh, uh, less interaction with our mobile phase like this the third the fourth and the fifth so the fifth one is actually showing way too much means less interaction with our stationary phase and it will be carried by the mobile phase from here so like this our mobile phase will be giving actually a kind of push to our these samples and the samples will be moving out slightly slowly and gradually so like this our sample will be actually separated and uh, from here the supply is actually regulated a regular supply is provided from here and like this uh, the the carrier gauge is actually carrying and pushing our uh, these components of the mixture and like this the components will then come and will enter to the detector here in the detector what will happen you know we have studied our this uh, uh, mass spectrometry technique in a very uh, explained form and to the point we have discussed this lecture in a, in a different video so here i'm just telling you in short that uh, as the sample enters our this mass spectrometer so this what will happen then mass spectrometry will happen our sample will become ionized fragmentized and then it will be separated after that it will be identified and at the end whatever the signal is obtained that will be directed towards the readout device and our this readout device will provide this kind of graphical representation and uh, now what remains here is the very interesting point that is the principle now what is our principle principle regarding principle point if you remember my this point which i am discussing in every lecture of the spectrometry spectroscopy and uh, chromatography whatever is happening with your sample that is actually going to be your principle here our sample is separated by mean of the stationary phase and mobile phase stationary phase is actually having a kind of interaction with our this sample components now what is this interaction called very simple whenever a gas is interacting with a fixed liquid phase a gas when it interacts with a fixed liquid phase that type of interaction is called as partition okay now this our sample is actually our sample which was mixture now this is actually separated due to this uh, mobile phase and stationary phase and our this stationary phase is actually separating it by means of the partition and this partition is actually the principle of our this chromatography i think it is clear now so now let's come towards the seventh portion the, this graphical representation this is the actual result that we, we get in the readout device and uh, through this result we can get what the retention time the concentration on the x axis we have the retention time on the y axis we have the concentration or absorbance so from this graphical representation we will calculate concentration in the retention time and then we will compare this reading with the already available the standard reading our results reading and standard reading will compare these two together after the comparison then it will be very easy for us to identify that what kind of mixture was there and what were the components this was in short about the chromatography the gas chromatography the gas liquid chromatography the gcms the gas liquid partial chromatography i hope you got if still you have any kind of question feel free to ask us in the comment box we are there to help you guys thank you for watching